Hey everyone, this is your host, Chris Chief from Blurred's Eye View. And if you haven't heard about Anchor, it's the easiest way to make a podcast. Here, let me explain. First, it's free. You definitely can't beat that. Plus, there's creation tools that allow you to record and edit your podcast right from your phone or your computer. Anchor will distribute your podcast for you so it can be heard on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and many more. You can make money from your podcast with no minimum listenership, and it's everything you need to make a podcast and more. Download the free Anchor app or go to anchor.fm to get started. Hey, everybody. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> it's Blurred's Eye View After Dark. I'm your host, Chris Fury, with DC and our guest host, Crazy Ed the Great. What's going on, brother? What up? So we are all having our libations. Let me pop my bottle in. Uh, I'm a beer guy. and uh, I'm a tequila and a cup guy, guy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to extend the pinky with the... Extending oh, so, there you go. So refined as I drink my so refined. with my sonic slushy with nerds at the bottom. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> so we are talking about spoilers. You know, for those who ain't watching, mm-hmm. uh, we are talking spoilers mm-hmm. with the crew about the Falcon and Winter Soldier. We're talking about episode two and three. Okay. And damn, this movie, this that's what it should have been. Uh, <laughs> this, 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 this thing is playing. This thing is playing like a movie. I gotta, I gotta tell you, um, it is really freaking good, man. Uh, like episode two did something that a lot of fans were really waiting for, and they introduced Isaiah Bradley. For those who don't know, Isaiah Bradley yeah. is the first black Captain America, and it was played by uh, what is his name? Carl. I can't remember the actor's Carl name. Lundy. Carl Lumbly, that's right, Carl Lumbly, and if for those who don't know who Carl Lumbly is, he actually played a hero once, twice before. Um, he played the Mantis back in the '90s on the CBS show called The Mantis, and he is the voice of Martian Manhunter in the in the Justice League cartoon. So yeah, there we go. You know, so shout out to Carl Lumbly, man. Not only that, then he played the Martian Manhunter's father on Supergirl. Who, who yeah, right. just so happened. Who just so happened was played by Phil Lamar. <laughs> <laughs> circles, man, circles. I love it. <laughs> so, um, lighter. yeah. So we get the introduction of Isaiah Bradley, and we, we and Eli before Bradley we too. we got Eli Bradley. That was the first one we seen was Eli Bradley. For those who don't know, and I'm waiting on him to come in. He ain't came in yet. But uh, we get right. the Patriot. We get the Patriot from Eli Bradley, but he's not the Patriot yet. So, uh. You kind of get you get an inside look on what Isaiah went through, and it's without other no other term, it's it's fucked up. He heartbreaking. It is. It's heartbreaking. You know, he's saying, "I called myself doing the right thing, and they locked me up for thirty years. And if there isn't a brother or sister and experimented on that mother and experimented right. on him that didn't feel that man's pain." When the he was US talking government about and Hydra experimented on them. Oh my god. <laughs> the US government was Hydra, as we found out later yeah. on. Um, pretty much. Facts. But it was I scary. Mean, and, and, um and the only consolation I guess we got was he whooped Bucky's ass. <laughs> yeah. 
He was like, "Yeah, we've met before." He said, "Oh, we you mean my met? You mean whooped your ass? And so, I dragged like, your ass in Siberia, nigga? That's and broke talking. your arm off. And broke your arm off. <laughs> right? I'm like, oh, he handled you your ass, ass, ass. Right? <laughs> the only he throwing, reason you in here right now is to see yeah, if you still he throwing, had an arm or not. Right? He throwing Altoids tens halfway through the wall and shit. <laughs> I'm like, damn. I'm, yeah. I'm like, don't piss that old dude off. You know, right. you know how you how how you don't piss your parents off because they got that old man strength. That's what that was. <laughs> That's what that was. That was that old man strength. If, if old got man diesel, strength I've been working person. out. Right. If so old, I'm like, I'm like, oh, person, it'd be Isaiah Bradley. <laughs> 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 oh man, he put he put he put the work in, but I was just like, I, but I hope I really hope that's not the last we see of him. And I don't uh, think so. No, I, I, don't, I doubt it. A, if anybody need a spinoff, it's Isaiah Bradley. Oh, yeah, definitely. Like, I mean, they've already introduced telling his story. Yeah, they've already introduced Speed and Wiccan on WandaVision. Right. Uh, they've inter- kindly introduced Eli Bradley a little bit. They're going to be introducing Kate Bishop later on in the Hawkeye series. You know, they've oh, already America talked about Fair. doing a Miss Marvel. Yeah, they already yeah, talking about got, doing Miss uh, Marvel. We got Cassie Lang as stature. Yep. So we I mean it's obviously looking like we're gonna get a young Avengers. Oh yeah, they right. later on down the line, you know. Uh once again, blueprint master Ch- Kevin Feige. I would say invite Superman. to the cookout, but you know, <laughs> 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 but I, I gotta wait. I'll make sure you don't yeah, mess up. Got no skeletons in your closet, bro. <laughs> yeah, we gotta make sure we gotta oh, we, we just gotta make sure. check your tweets, man. Check your right tweets. Right now, man. right now you get a plate. Right now you get a plate. Right now um, you at the gate. You at the gate looking over, talking yeah, to us like, with a plate in your hand. Anybody yeah. that anybody that wear unlimited dad caps got got some in they, they closet. We don't know yet. <laughs> unlimited dad caps. <laughs> oh my god! Closet full of caps and New Balances. That's it. Right. That's it. <laughs> Um, and, and, and soup blazers. That's all you got. Oh, soup blazers. Wait, jeans. <laughs> and jeans. jeans and new balances. Jeans and new balances, man. The, 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 the white, the white ones, the all white ones. Yeah, that's there the he is. Back, There's the brother right there. Next there he is. He came in. All right. Oh, Patriot, him, Patriot himself. On? Yes, Patriot ladies and gentlemen. Himself. What's up, fellas? I was loading. Yes, it was. <laughs> oh, you loaded, loaded too. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still As he pulled loaded. his cup up. Yeah, we, still all, we all got our libations here going we on. We all got so. that little circle loading inside our brain, just <laughs> <laughs> waiting to <Right>. connect. <laughs> so we've already started talking about episode two of uh, Falcon Winter Soldier, and we were talking about the introduction of Eli Bradley and Isaiah Bradley. And you cosplaying the Patriot on many occasions, um, <laughs> I knew you couldn't wait to get in on this action. So, but there was so much unloaded in this episode. Like it was such a mirror image. Cause when Isaiah is talking about what the government and what Hydra did to him, what hell the government was Hydra and what mm-hmm. they did, what to did to him. <laughs> yeah. Let's just say what Hydra did to him. <laughs> and it was almost a mirror image of what Sam was dealing with and as to why he gave up the shield. Yeah, you know, because he was, you could tell he's fighting with that, and the whole thing, that whole scene was heartbreaking. And then when to walk out, this was the oh, this was the burner to walk out, and he's talking to Bucky, and he's saying, like, how come nobody's ever said anything about this? Like nobody, like who knew about this guy? And while he's talking, I like to know who's the son bitch who called the police number one, and because they just they Karen. just happen to come Karen down the street. The Karen. Phone. No, right. it was, it was, it a was black Chad. guy. It, it was Chad. Chad. Somebody was Chad. called the police because they were out there having to talk. And Sam is literally, he was like, No, there's nothing wrong. And then, like, they're sitting up there pretty much antagonizing, antagonizing and you're feeling the whole tension. And I'm like, This shit is going to go left. Yeah, because they, they're, they're placating the white dude, thinking mm-hmm. that he's the victim. And it's right. he, Sam, is he, a black is, man. Is he bothering you, sir? Is this right. black guy? Is this black guy you, bothering you, sir? You stumpy little bastard. You already think, know that's not the case. Twice if he's bothering you, sir. <laughs> right. Oh, God. Was, it, it, I was, my fist was, you ever see that meme with Arthur the ant, the, the oh, ant eater, Arthur, and, and he and had one of those moments going, I'm like, mm, like, <laughs> my blackness is so triggered right now. It's not even funny. And what made that, and, no, here's what made that scene worse for me. It was like, all this talking, and like, oh yeah, we're gonna arrest him. And listen, and they got hands on guns and everything. It's like, 
he's an Avenger. Oh, sorry, sir. Why didn't you say you were an Avenger in the first place? Yeah, oh, this like, be dude, the like, like, dude got up close to him. He was like, oh, you know who this is? I'm like, this is so fucked up. I don't that brings me back care. to that Carl Winslow <laughs> episode, man. Yeah. If he would have just said he was a cop, son, we would have left him alone. Why, right. why? If I'm black, I got to tell you who I'm somebody famous for you not to whip my ass? Like, what kind of... You that don't make know, no sense. You ever see when they do the roles? There's always the the they always the cast the stumpy white dude who you know like he's trying to take an authority figure. He's like, is he bothering you, sir? Is everything okay? Is the guys who bullied you? in school. Why yeah. do you sound like you just fresh out of school? It's like, I'm sorry. Is he bothering you? Is, are you okay? Is, stand down. Yeah, just stand down. The, just calm down. Hand on the hip. Is he bothering you, sir? I'm like, and Buck even Bucky was like, even Buck's bothered by it. He's like, but he like for real. Yeah. Hold on, <laughs> bruh. Why <laughs> he, he did look, like he's like damn the <laughs> argument like what the fuck he didn't do anything he was fit to be tired <laughs> like bro really we're talking in the street we're surrounded by black folk trust and me then they turn, and, then they turn around, and then they turn around and look at the bowl I'm like well your ass is under arrest <laughs> I'm, like, <laughs> I'm like I'm like you know I'm like Bucky you really could just like take this one for the team and like we will invite you to the barbecue just whoop they ass right quick <laughs> exactly. you'd have gotten the eternal invitation you know because <laughs> we can tell you you we can tell you was on the side you we can tell you know so uh, <laughs> but yeah it, it was it was it did so much even when even when Sam was talking to the little kid walking up, he's like, Oh, you're the black falcon. And he was like, No, just falcon. He's like, My daddy calls you the black falcon. He's like, Why? Because I'm the falcon and I'm black. He's like, right. Yeah. He was like, Well, what would you feel like if I just called you the black kid? <laughs> and I'm like, <laughs> that was the him. best, that was the best him. exchange. And it's more like, right. ah, you got him. Ah, right. like, so does that man. make you black kid? Like, what the Shut fuck, nigga? <laughs> That's why I hate my dad, because he tell me some stupid shit. Shut up. <laughs> That's when he go home like, dad, you dumb, nigga. You right. Tell me this like, dad, shit. I met an Avenger, and you embarrassed the folk out of me, dad. Right. Right. I'm out here calling him the Black Falcon. Right. If I fuck it up, let me go meet your pop so I whoop his ass. Really right. <laughs> who's your daddy? Your daddy probably named Chauncey. Who's I don't know why, but you look like your father. <laughs> who's your daddy? <laughs> oh my gosh, that name. Who your I daddy spoke. is? I right, know people named Chauncey, but yeah, that that's one. That name for some reason, that name just you you meet a Chauncey, it just feels like he up to no good. It's like <laughs> it just. Oh my god, like, what's the name, Chauncey? Oh, that right. name, that nigga ain't no good. That nigga, bro. <laughs> Go, yeah. <laughs> so we finally get these two, and then like you know, it turns out the reason why they're arresting Bucky is because he missed his uh his appointment with the with the doctor with the therapist. Yeah, the and, court appointed psychologists and yeah, you know, and who just writes in her notebook all day and, and pisses him off even more. Um, <laughs> can I say something real quick? I'm sorry I jumped in late, but no, no, you good? You good? When I saw that, when I saw when he said Isaiah, you had no idea the shiver that went up my spine. I I literally screamed. Nigga, are we about to finally bring this character to the screen? Are we finally going to reveal the truth? Do I need to pull the comic book and show it out to the Oh, TV? God, I truth? love the truth. It's the truth. <laughs> They're like black, black issue baby. one. Motherfucker, got it right there. And and then when they got to on, on the porch and Sam's looking confused, but, you know, Bucky's like, I know what's going to happen eventually. I'm going to tell him. I got come, who comes to the TV. door? Who opens the door? But. Eli, yo, I had to apologize to my coffee table. I know this joke is ready to leave me. I just went, ah! <laughs> I, just, I just threw God. that shit. I was like, I do it. I was like, oh my God, just don't hit my just don't hit my TV. I don't care. I said to go, yo, you gotta be fucking kidding me. And then oh, uh, oh my Carl Wembley, that dude, what an actor. Yeah. Uh God, like, like you just said, like. They are managing oh, to really give me a lot of oh shit moments. Mm-hmm. Right. You know, kudos I, to Marvel with these oh shit moments because <laughs> did they pile them on? Oh my god! <laughs> I'm like, y'all just trying to blow my whole wide load on everything right now. I'm like, I'm in, I'm in the car at work early watching these episodes, and sitting there in the car, and then like I see Isaiah Bradley, and I'm like in the car, like, yo. <laughs> <laughs> that was me at home. <laughs> it's just me. I hope ain't nobody seeing this car shaking and going crazy right now. And what I, I loved love about 
Go ahead. Go ahead, bro. No, I said what I loved is how he portrayed him as not this sagely older man who's gone through life. He is just angry and mm. bitter Bitters. and mad. Oh, Everything you yo, I did what you told me to do. You tested my ass, sent me over there to do a mission, come back. You put me, you court martial me for 30 years. For 30 years, you used me and my people, 300 soldiers. You tested that serum on us because Erskine died, and you sorry bastards couldn't get it together. So, what did you do? Why didn't you use one of the other white paper white people over, over there? Why didn't you use some of them? You use some other. No, you used what you felt was the most expendable resource around black soldiers who wanted to try and do something right. Right. 300 of them were subjected, only six survived the testing. If it's not a mirror image of the Tuskegee experiment, I don't know what that. is. <laughs> I don't know what I'm is. I'm like, about to say that. And I got into a debate with someone about that too. Talking about, well, no one knows really knows the story. I said, do I need to pull out the fucking comic book and show you exactly what they this went is through? the story? Like this is literally the story. Literally, literally. And there's no getting around this. Well, maybe you know what? No, and it didn't end well then. So mm -mm. It's fact. Mm -mm. Uh, mm -mm. I like, love you know, how um I love how the lore, like the whole Captain America lore, could be carried out without him actually being in the show. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I think the talk why. about the shield and everything, and the mirror, like everything that's happening with this shield, and like right. even in the third episode, Sam said it. He's like, it was a mistake for me giving up that shield, and Buck is like, yeah. It was, you, think? And, you know, and it was in so many. Oh God, this this third episode was something. <laughs> was something I'm waiting for this third episode because yo, I screamed like a little bitch. <laughs> 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 like you put me in front of a like, Christmas like, tree, you know, and there was Madden a PS5, board. and there was an Xbox in there, and I had a it's the greatest day ever. <laughs> oh, it's not over yet. You get another Christmas <laughs> next Friday, and I'm like, shit, you know, but. You get Madripoor, you get Agent Thirteen, aka Sharon, mm, Sharon no. Carter, and then you get the you get a mention of the Power Broker, we, who we don't even know yet. Yes, right. it's Mephisto. And then, and then there's so <laughs> Mephisto. He says Mephisto. <laughs> oh, I'm so glad I haven't heard any theories yet. Dude. All these, all these surprise! I wasn't theories. in one division because I was in Madripoor, motherfucker. It, it's coming. Trust but, uh, me, it's coming. Uh, you get that, and then and then here's the killer. When they finally get to uh, Doctor Nagel inside the now, I, now I want a secret lab like that. But uh, that was <laughs> badass, know, though. Yeah, I, I want a secret lab like that. I'm just like, hey, this is the podcast room. Where? <laughs> Let's walk in this door. <laughs> <laughs> right behind the wall. Um, and he says like there were twenty vials of serum, and a girl, the little, the one girl stole them. Really? And it's yeah, like Carly, Carly, yeah, Carly, Carly, yeah, Carly yeah. Stole, so that means eight of them been used. And I'm like, where's the other 12? She got, <laughs> so like, hidden, she got them hidden the fuck away. Because like she said in that episode. I don't think they have one. them anymore. No, somebody has them because she mm -hmm. said. The statement she made, it made it seem like they were used up. And that's. They, no, they, they weren't used up. Mm -mm. They weren't used up. They mm -hmm. used. The, they, yeah, I know eight of them were used. Somebody like, like, um, the, the. Uh, you're an agent, like he gonna eventually get the serum. I, I, I propose. Um, so it's still people that's gonna get the serum. So I U.S. Like, agent, we not calling them Cap. Yeah. Well, no, that's oh, who yeah. he is anyway. That's who. He yeah, is that anyway. wet washcloth man, John Walker yeah. was an asshole in the here, here, comedy. John Walker, yeah, he, he really is. Kid. Here, let's, yeah, let's nah. let me put something else on the table. John Walker is not only an asshole in the comic books, but it's Wyatt Russell, <laughs> whose father was Kurt <laughs> Russell. Who play Ego to Living Planet? I'm like, oh, you're just gonna go through the Russell family and make them play <laughs> assholes, then, right? <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> pretty much. Snake Snake Plissken was by far the, everyone's favorite asshole because he's like, <laughs> I just don't care. See, Snake Plissken is the guy I can sit down and have a beer with. He's cool. I'm like, I get where he's coming from. <laughs> <laughs> Ego, Ego to Living Planet. Planet he was a whole ass. ass. Dick. Oh, how, how does how does Star Lord Star Lord Star Lord said Star Lord said it best? He was like, I. I can be. I'm not completely 100 percent a dick, you know. <laughs> it was like, <laughs> I'm like Snake Plissken to be an ass, but he's not 100 percent a dick. There's mm -hmm. a difference, you know. Ego to live a planet. He's all 100 percent asshole, 100 percent dick, you know. <laughs> so that's what it is. Now, right. mind you, when they brought Battlestar in, 
uh, Lamar Hoskins. <sighs> I got excited too. But at the same time, I said, how are you going to tell this story? Yeah. How yeah. Are you I didn't, know, tell I didn't know much about him until uh, the show. Really? Yeah, yeah I didn't I was... know much about Battlestar until the show. He's like, he was... They wanted to call him Bucky. Until... Mm-hmm. Yeah, until they found out that that's not what you want to call a black man. That, far <laughs> right. from it. It feels like a, I mean, it's just, just defensive to call him a straight out nigga. Who, who <laughs> right. the fuck was like, you know what? We got Cap. We're gonna call you Bucky. And did you notice that, like, he called John Walker. He called him Cap when they were walking down the hall. He was like, "So how right. you want to play this one, Cap?" And he was like, "Well, you know, Lamar." I'm like, "Damn, you ain't even gonna call him by his his cold <laughs> name at all." Really? That's fucked up. <laughs> Like he at least at least he's trying, but you ain't even trying. Now you really are turning into a dick. Like the the John Walker dick complex. Oh my god. I'm like, dude, you had a great here's the thing. Honestly, his first appearance, he had a bomb ass appearance because he had the HBCU band out there getting blown him in. I'm like that was PR. I like that. I was like, that should have been Sam's entrance. I'm sorry, that should have been all Sam. It should have been Sam's entrance, though. I'm like, I'm like then you high five in the 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 band leader, and I was like, "Man, where you at, Grambling State? Where you at right now? More <laughs> house, more house, so like you getting this <laughs> bomb ass interest." I'm like, "But that's that shouldn't be oh, for no, you. You, you." I you, thought you, Nick no. Cannon was over there playing the drums in Woodstock. <laughs> <laughs> nah, you know you know how the college sisters love them gravy boys, so you know oh. even like Spellman doing some shit. Yeah, mm, I was gonna say Spellman too. <laughs> <laughs> Whitley over there waiting on him at the at the end of entrance. Oh my god! So, but yeah, I you hey, know daddy. he slowly. I mean, not slowly because it's only six episodes. We got three left, but he's Don't quickly. Me, this is a ride. I yeah, was that's crazy. Longer, man. This is a definitely a ride, and that's why when somebody was like, right. uh, "They look like it's gonna go slow," I was like, "Not for six episodes. It's not they're not playing around." <laughs> said, we got an agenda to make here. Yeah, like, yeah, that's that's a lot of ground. And like, yeah, to be in the first half, it's definitely mm-hmm. gonna be a lot of ground covered. Yeah, when they go to do the interrogation, and then like the dude spits in his face, and he's like, "You know who I am?" I said, "There's the asshole right there." That's every white cop's thing. Do you know who I am, boy? And you hear him in that really calm voice. I don't care. <laughs> Nobody give a fuck, fake ass dollar store cap. Great value cap. <laughs> Captain <Well>. Canada. <laughs> now I will say, like, now we Captain are Caucasian. Right. Fucking... Now we're meant to do. We're meant to hate the character. We just are. Yeah. One thing yeah we, right. But oh my god, there's been there's been people, but in real life, like they're putting they're out death threats. Far. Yeah, they're too yeah. far. Why are you going death, death threats? The man's just doing his job. As it, that right. lets you know the the chops of his ability to play this role. That you were invoking the basement version. I mean, uh, fans. <laughs> uh, wow. Sorry. Sorry, I had that moment. Uh, but when you now, when now you, you know they're fans. They're very you know what the word fan they are is. Wet hot pockets. That's what they are. They are yeah, wet they're... broccoli and cheese hot pockets. That's what they oh, are. Oh yeah. god, that's disgusting. Oh, that happened at the store today. Someone came in here. Yeah, we're looking for Digimon. Went, um, you know, I gotta go do back stock. <laughs> Where in the alley <laughs> until they're <laughs> gone. <laughs> <laughs> you know when someone's in your house, you don't want me, and they're gone. Oh, they're gone. Oh, okay, good. Oh no, that's like the guest who like he, they keep putting movies on. Hey, Chris, what do you want to watch? What do you want me to put on next? Yo, you coat, leaving the fucking door, nigga. Put your <laughs> coat on. I need you to leave. <laughs> that's what I need. I need you to put your coat on and leave. See, that's I ain't that coat. nice though. I'm I'm gonna tell the motherfucker like, hey man, hey nigga, I don't know what you about to do, but it's nine o'clock here. <laughs> uh, I'm pretty sure you got the same movie at your crib. If not, take my copy, nigga. Mail it back. <laughs> Get the fuck out. Like you got to go. Like you, it's like it's time fact, for my hey, <laughs> Keep this motherfucker. Go ahead, keep it. My gift to you to get the fuck out. Call it a going away gift. Nigga, just go the fuck away. Late birthday and early birthday. Get the fuck out. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Happy New Year. Happy Kwanzaa. Am, uh, Merry Easter. Shalom, motherfucker. Get the fuck out. I ain't got you but your yeah. basket, but here's your Easter basket. I'll get you your basket later. Just I'll put go. that bitch in a plastic bag, nigga. Here you go. You take one of these pops, <laughs> beers. Here. 
Hey man, it's a plate right like, here, nigga. Oh, give him like oh, you don't even, you don't even wrap up the plate. hot dogs. Nigga. You just throw the hot dogs in the plate bag, nigga. Take this butt ass nigga hot dog. Get the fuck out. Beans, you want beans? Put the beans right on top of the hot dog, my nigga. Hey man, get the fuck. Out. Drink of beans. There you go. I done made your whole dish. That was potato salad. Oh, okay, beans. boom, right in the bag, baby. Let's go. You shake this bag up. The smorgasbord. You got to go. Right. Right. All Walmart bag. Yeah, all great value. Put your great value bag. Put your great value hot dogs and beans. Put them in the bag and take your great value ass home. Because okay, <laughs> that's that's naked, naked ass sandwich. But he, but but all but in all seriousness, <laughs> like we we can't just don't don't start with the death. We're at threat. Yeah, I don't condone that. Man. That's, 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 that's lame. That's, that's just lame. lame. It's just fucking lame. And it you, make but you know who it is though? It's the dudes who live in their mom's basement. Whoever ain't never touched no basement ass virgins. ever. Basement, basement virgins. virgins. Basement, basement virgins. virgins. I coined that phrase and I continue to use that shit. Basement <laughs> virgins. Ma! Shut up! I'm trying to write this death threat. <laughs> Make me some meatloaf. Bring me some biscuits, Sally. <laughs> hey, mom, is my Jetson shirt clean? I'm going out. We got any more broccoli and cheese hot pockets? <laughs> <laughs> you ate them all last night, you fat bastard. <laughs> what fruit juice with my sandwich? <laughs> I said 12 chips, not 11. No way. Um, <laughs> 12 <laughs> chips. <laughs> There's no pickles on this sandwich, Marge. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> God damn it, Maggie. I said sandwich. <laughs> no. Like it be the, but, but that's what's nah. crazy because be the motherfuckers who ain't never doing shit, who ain't no. never did shit, and ain't gonna be shit. Mm-mm. Ain't touched the woman. Ain't seen only person they seen was that tentacle porn. That's the only action they got. <laughs> oh got the, my gosh, yo! <laughs> <laughs> Legend of the Overfiend. Yo, what you say? What you say? Oh, <laughs> I'm a man now. No, wow. no I need more towels. <laughs> I need more tissues now. My socks are crusty. I told you, Ma, it's the wrong lotion. <laughs> the motherfuckers standing time. up on their own in the corner. I locked the door for a reason. Where's my brain? <laughs> Not the crazy. Okay, socks you know the socks that stand weird. up in the corner on their own, the motherfuckers so <laughs> teeming with life. The <laughs> 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 motherfuckers got a halter culture inside of them. The motherfuckers teeming with life. <laughs> 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 They just walk over to you. Hey, socks, come here. They both... <laughs> I need you. It's another night. I got more tickle more to watch. Oh, come on, I, got, I, still got a, I still got some soft fabric I can use. No, There's still gonna... some room at the ankles. At the ankle elastic part. You know, Stephanie, it's funny. He always wants tube socks when I go to the store. He always wants tube time. socks. It's like, Jim, I think we have a problem. Peter runs through 45 tube socks a day. What the fuck is <laughs> <laughs> he never goes anywhere. This book is not athletic, but no. he ever put it through tube socks. I'm <laughs> selling my business. And like I've never no. seen the laundry. Gosh, no. mom, I just want more fucking tube socks. Gosh. <laughs> and I can't never seem to keep my lotion and Vaseline handy. I don't know what the hell. Well, fucking washing machine pregnant. <laughs> 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 I think the washing machine broke. It's getting bigger. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh man! Nine months later, any washing machines running on that bitch looking like Randy and shit in the face. <laughs> A boy or a girl? It's a fabric softener. It's, it's a fabric. Oh. It's a bay tag. Oh, it's all that one bounce, that one fluff. <laughs> this is a snuggle. You know why we call that one snuggle? He likes to curl in the bed with me as I watch more porn. <laughs> oh man! Yeah, but it's them dudes, man. It'd yeah, dudes but, ain't yeah we, we just don't condone that type of shit. That's just mm-hmm. that, and that's a form of bullying. That's what it is. And it is. It's like, you know, as much as she's like, oh, they bully me. I'm like, look, that shit you're doing right now is bullying. You, you got to know the right. difference. And, you know, but it does say a testament of how well the actor is playing their role. And yeah, too, at the same time, like, he's also made, like, for us to feel like he ain't so shitty. He just like the person for the job. Yeah. So for his performance to, like, portray that before we actually hate his guts is pretty dope. Yeah, like I mean, let's let's face it. 
Chris Evans is Captain America. Mm -hmm. That's it. Mm -hmm. Who's next in line? Sam Wilson. So I'm like, there it is. Sam gets the shield. We can't give it to Bucky. Bucky's got too much blood on his ledger, as as Natasha said. He got too much blood on his ledger. You know, it's like John Walker's a commercial break, really. It, for real, you know. So it's like, and did anybody catch when uh when John was on the shield and 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 Bucky caught it? He didn't catch it with his bionic arm. He caught Nobody it with his, with his regular, regular arm. arm. Yeah, and it was kind of like, nigga, you ain't shit. I just you caught so this, ass, <laughs> nigga. You you ain't. Sh- I just caught this with my bare hand. Oh, bitch, made ass. Oh, like, doing those so right. You do shit. not belong with this shield at all. I will gladly give it to Sam. And so, uh, seeing all this shit unfold, and in this third episode, now this was my old shit moment. <laughs> Captain Ale. Oh Show my up. gosh, yo! When she was in that alley. Yo, and then the Kamoyo beads. Which, oh my yo, God. Yo. Back in the building, baby. I lost my right. shit. Yo, for real. I lost my shit. This That's shit. a fucked up way to go off, though, man. I'm pissed. That's how they ended it. Because <laughs> <laughs> you got to think about it, though. Like, because I'm like, I'm like, this nigga, like, I need to go for a walk. I'm just clear my head and shit. Because he already knows what's going on. He see one bead on the ground. He's like, oh, that shit about to get real. Find another one in the wall. Man, I knew it was a matter of time before you show up. Like turn around, I'm like, oh! I saw yeah, that beat on the God, ground. I damn. said, oh, who is it going to be? And yeah, I was like, it was that first beat. It was that first beat. I was like, yo, who they going to show from Wakanda? Which one is going to be? And, and, gonna I, be? I, I didn't and it was the, AO. I, yeah, was and AO. I, didn't get, I didn't get a chance to pull up her picture, but her name was Florence Kasumba. Mm-hmm. And okay. she's probably one of the, she's badass sister. Yeah. She's one of the few badass sisters that not only plays Adora Milaje, but she plays an Amazon warrior as well in Wonder Woman. She was so, a Wonder Woman. Dope. Yep, she was. Yeah. So, so yeah, she she can whoop your ass two different ways. Talking <laughs> about double duty, nigga. She's an archer or beat your ass in Wakanda. <laughs> so I'm like, yeah, try it if you want to. On site. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but she was like, I'm here oh for gosh, Zemo. Her- yeah, go, like, I'm here for Zemo. And I'm like, oh, sister girl ain't playing. Mm-mm. They know. They remember what he did. They remember him. It was because of him the King Tataka got killed. Mm-hmm. Yep. Mm-hmm. Like Sam said, he was like, Don't you remember like breaking him out of prison? He said, Don't you remember? You did what? He was like, You think the Wakandans? He was like, They're going to come for him. He was like, No, hypothetical question. They didn't forget. <laughs> like, like they want that ass. I love and, But like everything Zemo said. Yeah. But everything Zemo said. He was right. Like about right. a you know, when, when they were breaking him out, all the shit he was talking about, he was right. Like, mm-hmm. like when they were on the plane and he was talking about, I seen that Sam was talking to Bucky. He was like, I seen that book before. That's the book I gave Steve. And I told him he started talking about how he told him to listen to Marvin Gay and all this other stuff. Mm-hmm. And Zemo was like, Yeah, Marvin Gay is a great singer, and everything he was talking about. On the Trouble Man on that album mm-hmm. was everything. A, the classic struggle of the of the black man in America. Yeah. And the way he said it, like even Sam had to say, he was like, he had, a line. he had a line. He had a line, but he's right. But let's not jump <laughs> on the fact this nigga really rich, though. Baron yeah. Zemo is really a baron. Like this nigga's really <laughs> he really got paper. It was like, like he, he like Bruce up. Wayne style. Like he's a pay pay rent. Like, like, money like, in my family my before we came along, so yeah. I'm a bear and, and don't remember. I mean, when oh, he right. came up with the fur joint, I was like, Oh, Yo, with money. the, the boots, we can see money, okay? <laughs> Yo, but you know how they had him dress, and it's like, Wow, they keep it so reminiscent of his comic appearance yep. without going to the comic appearance. And I saw when I saw that fur collar, I was like, Bitch, just put on the, just put on the mask. Just put on the mask. And he and put on that mask, yo. The mask, it was a it was wrap. Vicious. Everything he did in this episode, I wasn't mad at because I'm you like, you know right. what? He redeemed himself to me. I'm sorry. Like, he, he, I know he's going to turn. I know. No, no, no. Turn. I know why he did what he did in the first place. I don't condone it, but he thought it was the best way to get revenge. But that nigga in this episode, they made that nigga look. He looked better than Bruce Wayne, man. Hey. I'm sorry. He was <laughs> 
He was on he was out here like, dropping like, jewels, giving truth, and doing it in style. Like he his fine, butler was yeah. better than Alfred. Except for the dancing. Except for the dancing. <laughs> yeah, okay, yeah. He was, he was trying real hard with the dancing. Yo, he was white. Was that, um, I'm like, ah, Anthony, damn, you almost man. had us. <laughs> was that actually Anthony <laughs> Mackie as Smiling Tiger on the phone? Yeah. No, yeah. It was? Yeah, was that was it? a picture yeah, of him. They, with they the... showed it so quick. They it was him. Yeah. It was him. That's why he's like, damn, he looked just like me. It was Anthony Mackie with the <laughs> fake ass beard and shit. <laughs> he, he had the mutton chops across his head. Yeah, his... he had the yeah. fucking like the uh like the old like what he had in the real the uh when he was Falcon when he had the uh yep. that came to yeah. that's mm -hmm. exactly what it was. It was like they took that picture in that weird ass suit. He <laughs> said, I look like a <laughs> <laughs> like Zemo was like, ah uh, yes, all high American fashion. When a black man dresses a certain way, he does look like a pimp, except for here. And and I'm like, damn, this nigga right again. What the hell? Yeah, he's like, this, he basically along the lines was like, no, only in America do you feel like you look like a pimp. Here, this is high fashion, nigga. You got the finest set of finest cloths on your back, nigga. Recognize right. where you at. Like, this ain't just no American where you got holes on the strip, nigga. This right now, you look like a million dollars, nigga. They gonna respect you. I mean, he like bitch. like like DC said, he dropped all these jewels. He was mm -hmm. like. That's high time over there if you ever want to visit, but we're going we're to go go going to low town. <laughs> we ain't going there. We're going with all the riffraff at my nigga. Then they get hey, then right. they get their asses saved by Sharon. And, and this is like, Sharon's who, like fuck the, I'm like, felt, you, I'm like, dude, who her felt the vibe? Started shield. Why why won't your wipe her name clean? <laughs> who felt the vibes of Mockingbird when she went to town on them? Yeah. I screamed Mockingbird <laughs> at my TV. Yo, I think my TV was like, yell at me again. I have you watching. <laughs> I have you watching up, Hulu. Doing it. You watch Hulu, nigga. Yell at me again. <laughs> and then like she was like, I I've been having a she was like she's selling black market style. She was like, mm, she was, selling was like, oh, this shit. crack. Like, like even Bucky was like, oh no, this is the real shit. <laughs> yeah, Baron Zimmer was like the shit that's in the Louvre and all that shit. That's the fake. She ain't playing. She got all the real shit like, here. All right. <laughs> and then Sam Google that shit was like, oh, like, yeah, he was like, what does Google say? And I'm like, <laughs> oh, this thing was like, oh, all y'all worldly and just poor old Sam over here ain't never been no goddamn where. Like, you talking about shit? You talking about? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, I'm getting turned down for bank loans and shit. Meanwhile, Sharon's over here selling high end art and everything right. else underground. <laughs> She crying about she can't come home. Nigga, you got money. I can't even keep my boat. <laughs> my fishing business afloat. What the hell? I'm trying to help my sister out. So in this episode, oh, we found out Sam is poor. Baron Zemo got dollars on top of dollars. Scrooge got <laughs> guts. Staring out here making grips. <laughs> but if you think about it, it's also in Dick, it also kind of shows how the U.S. Will take its own people who will put themselves on the line and just barely give you much a bill middle finger. Fuck you, and you go mm -hmm. elsewhere and you thrive. You become mm -hmm. successful in your and, own right. Yeah, and how does she? And how does Sharon say it? She was like, "I stole your wings to save his ass to save you from his ass." And I'm like, "Where's mm -hmm. all these gems and facts coming from?" <laughs> <laughs> Backstories. This, what is, this is amazing. <laughs> You know, the writing, the writing was on point for the show. Man. Yes, it is. Yes. They they are little. You could tell they're throwing movie budget quality at yep. their shows right now. Six they're just like you got no choice. Yeah, yeah and they did they the did the same thing. With, they did the same thing with Wandavision. Like they threw an astronomical amount of money at their shows. It was like, oh no, we just not. This ain't Agents of Shield, which me and DC absolutely love. Let's no. not bring the name up. Yeah, but we're doing we're like whatever's going on with Endgame, Infinity War, all the way scaled back. We're throwing it right here on the streaming service, all of it, and they're just like, which I like because yeah. it gives you that that backstory to well, some of the shit we didn't mm -hmm. see. Mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying some of the shit that it was just too the movie was too big for like the smaller human parts. Like you know what I'm saying, like like, a, like we who knew where Sharon Carter was at after the blip. Or before right. it, like I thought she, I thought she got a job. I, yeah, I thought she was back with the CIA and shit. They never said like she was on no, the run and shit. They, they were yeah. smart. They literally made her move her whole part of the whole story move out of the way and become out of sight, out of mind until she popped back up in the picture. You went, fuck. Where have you been? Dog, yeah, I had to ask myself. I was like, where the fuck was she then? Like. Because I, I had to go back and think after the Winter Soldier, it was like, yeah, okay. like they were playing Trouble Man, and they were showing what happened to every. Like mm -hmm. Maria went, she, I think she, Maria went to like a Stark facility, she a Stark uh, security, 
And then I thought Sharon went to like the CIA or something. I thought she did, right. but but that was but you gotta remember that was after the uh winter soldier. Yeah, because we're talking cause after Civil was. War because she stole the um stuff for Civil War. Mm -hmm. That's right, that's right, that's right. Sharon that's was a real G. I mean, she went to bat for a lot of people. Dog. I didn't she, get nothing in return. Mm -mm, nothing. It's like she's 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 an international criminal. Nigga, you were international criminal with that Nick, face. Right. Like, okay, like, this is one of the one times, a few times I'll say this, but Nick Fury needed his ass. If he knew Sharon was out there, he should have just mm -hmm. sent for her ass. He should have sent for her right. ass. See, That's that right, right there would have been a screw upper, right? Up in your jaw. I mean, like, <laughs> where's Joe Higashi? We need a screw upper up in here. Come on. Right, screw, up. screw like, upper. Screw up. Okay, yeah. You ain't got Monica. You got Monica, but damn it, you need to go get Sharon too. Shit. She put her like why you out here burning up your safe houses and, and using scrolls to take your place. You up there vacationing in space. You need to go get the agents who held it down for you. <laughs> wouldn't know what maybe she happen. went off the radar though, so maybe. Nobody knew where she was at. She or maybe you know what? No, I take it back. Maybe Nick did throw her a bone and said, "You mean maybe, maybe not yet?" Mm. He maybe or he, maybe he kept some motherfuckers off her back. Mm. That could be true. That could He's be like true. I can't get you off because I'm supposed to be dead, but I can keep some motherfuckers off your backbone. Yeah, I could. I, I'll take that back. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, we still don't know what's going on. Like, there's a lot right. of these stories that. But see, that's, the beauty, that's the beauty of it that it is so much backstory and so much going on with the characters. Like, I'm like, for some, like you said, because I didn't know that a lot of the book that Cap had. Yeah. When <laughs> Sam said it, he was like, I recognize that book. That's the book I gave Cap. And I'm like, damn. It, it, I mean, there's this shows a testament of how much they are really paying attention to detail that you can't get. In a theatrical in the movie, version, yeah, because it's too mm. much. I mean, you in the movies, you know, you got to go over the top and, and get hit them with the with hit them with shit quick. And these shows, they're able to slow it down and really pace themselves and be like, okay, we gonna get y'all six episodes only, but these six episodes is gonna be balls to the wall action, but it's gonna be a lot of information, so you got to catch it quick. Yeah, the past, it, I ain't gonna be before y'all long, but catch this message. Yeah, and like, I mean, like, how fucked up is it that Sam's family business mm. is, is just barely above water he goes to get a, a loan and the dude that. it can't even get a loan i'm like dude you he's a fucking avenger you couldn't he's even like, i love your work on tv my nigga but now you're still black i can't get <laughs> right like, i'm like you know how fucked up that is that is right but see that that goes to show the deeper thing of what they trying to tell in this story you know you got this black superhero and this white anti-hero i should say and mm -hmm. anti-hero living good, like kind of, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. He got pardons. He didn't kill the billion people, and nobody seems to care. But you got this black superhero who can't get alone, who almost got arrested for nothing. You know what I mean? So it's just who got dressed in pimp clothes. So it's just it's a lot. <laughs> <laughs> you really gotta catch it. You know what I mean? Things I did for my country. Yeah, that's, oh, that's, 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 thing, part, baby. that's that's all the stuff they talk about. It's just oh my god. But I love. That they're not afraid to touch on these subjects, mm, and they're not sugarcoating it. That's crazy. And that's why Marvel will be always be better than DC because they are going the extra mile with everything. It ain't just right. one movie, and then we gonna give y'all some trash in between. No, it's movie after movie after movie after movie after movie, <clears throat> like thirty movies, and then we gonna get y'all these shows until we get more movies out. Yeah, I mean, when, right. when, when <laughs> Kevin Feige made the announcement that they were going to start doing Disney Plus series that ties into their movies. Mm. The first thing that came off my mouth was like, oh shit, y'all motherfuckers in trouble. <laughs> yeah, just, you can't, oh, y'all. Y'all in trouble. DC, it's a wrap. Just give it up. Just <laughs> I know we were going to talk, I know we weren't going to talk about DC, but for a moment, can we please, for a moment, talk about why they canceled the new guys project with, but, uh, oh, because they're stupid. <laughs> I'm like, Pretty you're about to stupid. introduce Dark Side properly. How can you not bring these other new guys into this? You're talking yeah. about the mother box. You're talking about the forever people. You're talking about, come mm -hmm. on, man. The All Father, Orion. Granny and the Fury, Orion. Come on. How are you not bringing the man? I said, they're going, you know what? Most of you motherfuckers are still virgins, aren't you? 
Hmm. You know why? Because it's a saying that I heard you a long touched time ago. Yet. That's what it is. You ain't touched badge. And that's it's badge. too much like right. They can't get right. Mm-mm. God bless it, man. I well, saw they it. can't get out of their own way. We, we said it on a regular show. Like whoever is in the executive chair in the executive offices are, are not comic book fans. They're they they're not fans. They can't be. They can't be because uh, the, the, yeah, decisions they're not, that they're made. There, there's this okay. Zack Snyder, and I'm, we're going off tilt, uh, kilt here for a second, but Zack Snyder's Justice League is what it should have been. This is where an executive sitting in a chair says, damn, we just gave this man $73 million to make the movie that he was trying to make in the first place. It's performed better than we thought. It was being received better than we thought. Mm-hmm. And yet, we don't have the balls to say Let's change course. Pride. Just enough to pivot and still manage to keep certain stuff rolling. But then they'll be giving in to the fans, and they don't want to do that because they already made a decision, and now their pride won't let them change that decision because they do. see, the fans won on this one. Oh, oh yeah, facts. the fans won. Facts. The fans won on but this. We're still going to lose called. because we're still going to lose because in the end they're going to use their foolish pride and be like, "Nope, we were sticking it with our decision. We're not reversing course. We're going to do what we want to do." And then we lose, and then in the end they're going to lose because nobody wants to go see. Nobody wants to see the trenches. Nobody wants to see these weird. I don't want to see Starkly <laughs> Batman. <laughs> Robert Patterson is Batman is just weird to me. I'm sorry. How many don't give Batman a... do we fucking need? Good and he's supposed to be Batman on Earth too. See, and this is the problem. You didn't even you you're doing all this extra shit without not even without even introducing it in a proper way. Come on. If you Thanks, had bro. done a, if you had done a flash film that introduces a multiverse, then maybe we can get that off. But you couldn't even get your, you. You can barely get that shit out the gate. You barely got Batman on Earth One right. Now you going to Earth Two, <laughs> <laughs> nigga. Stick we, to the first we, we one. We fucked up guy. so bad over here. We gotta go over here and start over. No, we fucked you up got, Earth One. We're gonna go over here to Earth Two and see if we can try this again. You got you got Ben Affleck, who's already proven himself to be an acceptable Batman. Mm-hmm. And, ben, and Ben has even said, if if he's not directing, I'm not doing it. Yeah. Kiss and, and we know he's a capable director, so it's like, right? Let the man do it. Mm-hmm. And then you say, "Oh no, we we're, we're gonna do this." I'm like, you know what? Ever since BVS, y'all have been really undecided about a lot of shit that y'all. Do. Come on, man! Come on! <laughs> Come on! No, he, he ain't wrong though. Come on, man! Because when y'all announced after after this, despite how some certain certain people felt about Man of Steel, Man of Steel is still a good film, right? And after the success of Man of Steel, instead of y'all saying we're going to do a second Superman film, you saying, okay, we're going to do a second Superman film. And this is this is literally, I can't remember what year that was, but it was getting ready. It was gearing up for San Diego Comic-Con. You mm-hmm. literally had said, oh, we're going to do a, a second Superman film and it's going to have Batman. And I'm like, okay, that's cool. That's fine. That's fine. And and then they turn around and it's gonna have Wonder Woman. I'm like, oh, okay. And they're gonna have Aquaman. I'm like, all right, y'all doing too much. What the fuck are y'all doing? What? And then he's saying, and we're gonna introduce the Flash. And I'm like, how long is this film? And it just and and we're not and we're not calling it Man of Steel two. We're calling it Batman versus Superman. I'm like, oh fuck. Wow. Like that came out. That was within a two week span. That all that news dropped, and I just I just sat there and like, yeah, here we go. Uh, just, <laughs> just the shit doesn't make any sense now. Here y'all go with you that. know, and we should have seen it then. <laughs> I seen we, it. Then. <laughs> <laughs> Man, <laughs> I seen it. Then. Alert! Uh, I knew it was gonna be bad, right? So the creation of the Batmobile took longer than the creation of the script for Batman versus Superman. Wow. Here's how I knew it was going to be trash. When they say we got Batman in it and it's Man of Steel 2. And we're going to tie this shit to the first one, but we're not going to really tie it to the first one. We're just going to get y'all bits and pieces. Then we're going to bring in Aquaman, Cyborg, Flash, Wonder Woman, and get y'all this Michelangelo looking fucking doomsday. <laughs> that shit was trash. <laughs> But yeah, when I, when, I when the Batmobile I, took longer than the script, I knew it was going to be it was going to be perfect. I don't know Look, who wrote that 
script, but they should have been shot at high noon. Look, that <laughs> that just show. If you had stopped at, we're going to introduce Bruce Wayne. I would have been here's, okay. Here's the I kicker: now they're talking about doing a Man of Steel too. Because well, Henry Cavill is signed on to do two more movies. Mm-hmm. So now mm-hmm. we, and, and we want, and that's the thing: we wanted that. We wanted yeah. that. But look how long it took you to figure it out. Because it should never take it should never take that long to do a Superman sequel. Superman Returns from scrapped every planet they had. Mm-hmm. That was Superman their fault. That again, so it was foolish pride makes fool of us all. They thought that Superman Returns was gonna be the jump off. Again, I go back to them already having the Justice League set up to go after Superman Returns. Common was gonna be the oh, yeah. Green Story. Lantern. Uh, they got to play Lone Ranger. They had, was they to had the cast. Yeah. Army Hammer was, you know what I'm saying? They had the cast set up and ready to go. They even did principal photography. And Superman Returns bomb. And they was like, oh, 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 God, what do we do now? And it took them five years to get back on. Meanwhile, Marvel was giving us Iron Man and setting their shit on fire. And the rest mm-hmm. is history. Now DC is trying to play catch up 10 years too late. You're well, already see, behind the eight ball, and you're already not listening to the fans. You don't have a fan base that's really on stable ground right now as is because y'all already screwed us over once, screwed us over twice, gave us a bunch of bullshit ass movies with dumb ass jokes and Martha's and all that bullshit. <laughs> and then you 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 have no yo no solid plan. Your game plan is shaky. Your game plan is to throw your quarterback out there in the middle of the field and have this motherfucker throw 60 yards every time he get the ball. Like you trying to throw these Hail Marys and they fucking trash. Like you have no game plan. Like DC right now is just throwing shit at the wall, hoping this shit stick and fans don't get pissed off enough to where they all convert over to Marvel. That's all they're doing. They're trying to buy time. To I, I I'm waiting. Up. I'm waiting for this scene, this particular scene to pop up. I'm waiting for the scene at the WB, the Warner Brothers executive office, and they're in complete chaos. And they're like, what are we gonna Looking do? Just, what are we gonna do? The window and, shit. and then a limo pulls up. And a man in a dad hat, jeans, and white New Balances walks up <laughs> in slow in this in the slow motion scene that we seen like in Falcon and Winter Soldier with Zemo, Bucky, and Sam walking in the club. We see that slow motion scene where the guy walking up to the elevator and walking in. He was like, and he does it mafia style. He was like, he just walks up to the exec, takes his desk, and says, "Let me tell you what you're going to do." Mm-hmm. <laughs> I mean, only a miracle from God can say them right now because the shit is just too far gone. Like they have, I really don't think they have a plan. Like they really just they don't, they don't going shit at the wall and the shit fall off. Like oh, it's too many new new guys that slipped down the wall. As much as much as I am looking forward to Black Adam because it's the Rock, I'm scared. Look how long it's taking them. And, and we're it, not even counting COVID. We're not even counting that. We're not counting that at all. Right. Mm-hmm. Look how long it took them prior to that. Mm-hmm. But here's what like, I'm that. It's DC, man. Even yeah. though they got The Rock and The Rock has saved a lot of fucking franchises, the way DC it is. It seemed like they dumping a lot on his shoulder for this one. Yeah. Hey, Rock, we're in a bad place, man. We need you to go out there and body slam this one, man. We need you to go out here. The messed up part is Black Adam is DC's Black Panther. Exactly. That's exactly yeah. what it boils down to. Mm-hmm. Because you have an ethnic hero, a, 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 a character who is of an ethnic background, Black Panther, comes from a place that is not of the United States. Black Panther has his own strength, does not get it generated by anybody who is of the pasty face complexion. Black Panther. Black Panther. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. And you incorporate a few other characters into this deal. Okay. Pierce Brosnan is playing Dr. Fate. While I am so glad that they are finally bringing this motherfucking character to the mm-hmm. screen because Dr. Fate is long overdue. Mm-hmm. He's one of them OG cats right up there. We're talking about Adam. Dr. Strange level. Yeah, exactly. Pirate, everything. I'm like, I was reading about Dr. Fate before I people even knew who he was. And it took you this long to bring him to the screen. How many other characters have we do we know of that should have been seen and have not been seen from DC? Yeah, mm-hmm. all of them. There you go. I was gonna say that you said it better than me, bro. <laughs> I mean, shit. They need to break right now. They need to do an Avengers level movie and just break out all the old, all the I'm Black Canary, all of them. Just like bring them all out. Like you got nothing to lose. You see, that's crazy. It's funny you mentioned that when they were talking a Justice League film at the time. I think it was just. 
I think the Justice League cartoon might have ended a couple of years earlier than okay. that. And who was on the team? The big three. Mm-hmm. And then you had Green Arrow, Black Canary. So you had a lot of, I don't even want to say side characters. You still had a lot of main characters. French, French. A lot of French you know, characters. You know, and what was popular at that time? Green Arrow, Black Canary, because they had their television shows out. Mm-hmm. And Stephen Amell even said it. They were, it was talk of them doing a Supermax film. And it was going to have Green Arrow in prison trying to break out of a prison full of supervillains. And they ended up using that for the show, like in one season. Yeah. And even Stephen Amell said, I would love to be in the film. If you're going to do Green Arrow. Let's go. The man's already established yeah. himself as Oliver Queen. He's 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 literally you see him. He has been synonymous with this character since he was cast in Arrow. That's it. Nobody like, else makes sense. Oliver Queen flat out. And even he said it, he was like, I would love if they were just if they said it, I would be there. And they yeah, and the fans would have followed. The fans would have followed. And it's just yeah. like but we talking about DC again, man. Again, they can't get their head DC, out of their ass DC, and get out their own way. DC DC stands for don't care, and we're not talking about our co-host here. We're just talking <laughs> about- no, I don't care about DC. Like, and that's the, and I hate that my initials are like that. You know what I mean? It, it puts a bad if a motherfucker be like DC sucks. I'd be like, hold on. He talking about dumbass comics, not me. <laughs> different, different connotation when you hear DC now, because it's just <laughs> they got their head so far out their ass and it pisses me off because I was a Superman fan. I was a DC fan. So it does so much to just like this this spell all the, the the good currency that they built up with me over the years. It's starting to dwindle away. Like they bank account with me is like negative fifty two dollars. I'm at the point. Where, <laughs> Lord, let's you, you know. know what? <laughs> if I think about, it, let's go back to the twenty cent era of DC, mm-hmm. when Jack Kirby was just about on every project. You had Omac, command saved a lot of ass. Yes, command a lot of asses in there. The uh, um, the Eternals, New Gods. The list goes on. And you, I'm looking now, like these characters were significant in the development of the bigger characters, the Trinity, as you mm. call it, and a bunch of other groups, the Justice Society, Justice League, Legion of Superheroes. How are we not focusing on a property that honestly could appeal to so many of these millennials out here? And ooh, if they're because ooh, 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 ooh. DC is dumb as fuck, like that. <laughs> <laughs> That's why we ain't getting it. Because DC is focused on the the, the 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 over the top, giving us forty two Batman films and rewriting Batman, and then giving us Superman Returns. Which oh my. Anywho, DC is just fucking up. That's why we're not breathe, getting these. Breathe. DC means don't call. The only thing, the only thing the shows did right was taking Brandon Routh, who plays the Adam on uh, Legion, or, uh yeah, he redeemed. But I know it wasn't his fault. Tomorrow, man, we yeah. suck. When they had him back in the super, back in the tights, and it, and it pretty much was saying yes, he was the Superman from Superman Returns, and they actually kind of course corrected it, at least on the show. Right, kind of, yeah. Mm-hmm. I can just, that, I, don't, that, I don't blame him. No, I mean, it's not it wasn't him. him. I don't he blame Kevin Space his shitty ass Lex Luthor neither. <laughs> yeah, he played his <laughs> role. I don't blame whoever yeah. wrote it and whoever decided that we should have a like the whole premise of the kryptonite and the floating diamonds and all this other bullshit. That's what pissed they, me off. You could tell you could tell they ran out of like, this shit was poorly be, written. He was supposed to be Christopher Reeve Superman. Yeah, yeah, they came back, but yeah, the fact that they had this just, shit floating it, and yeah, it just didn't work. I'm like, like, you were so busy, this you, were so busy so, you were so busy trying to deal with the nostalgia of it all. Mm-hmm. It was like right. you missed the entire story. It was like yeah, because you got to think a lot of fans at that time don't re- don't. I wouldn't say don't remember Christopher Reeve Superman, but they don't. But they, they don't know him. They, like they don't know the history right. of it. They you know what I mean? Right. So unless you were watching that Superman and be like, oh, okay, so Superman went out in space to try to find his home. Now he's back. That's what the story was. But then they had all this weird ass shit that just didn't make no sense. Kitty oh, Pride and we're gonna we're gonna put a kid in the mix. Why? Why? Why, why a are you kid put- who could throw pianos and 
like Lex is a Lex is a, a meter maid and a and a like he's broke. <laughs> like Lex, they, they got no money no more, so he's out here yeah, uh, banking old ladies. Like, can you? I like. I can't even imagine Lex doing Lex. odd jobs for money and shit. Yeah, like this shit, marrying he marrying old women. Yeah, I'm like, I'm hustling. <laughs> Lex out here, Lex, hey man, I'll clean your gutters for twenty dollars. Like like Lex did not never strike me as a guy who's gonna marry an old lady for money. They had Lex look like a two bit cop. My nigga got money. Trust me. That's that what I didn't no like. They had class. Lex looking like a motherfucking average ass two bit no hustler class. out here. Yeah, there was no. Yeah, class. it was no class. Like Lex, that ain't Lex. Like Lex was a fucking. His intellect was his superpower. That's it. You know what I mean, like, his intellect and his money was his superpower. What was it? Uh, they play. Uh, was John Cryer? John Cryer is currently playing Lex Luthor on Supergirl, and he yeah. plays a better Lex Luthor. On Supergirl, mm -hmm. because here, here's a motherfucker that was like, I can literally walk out this prison, and he's done it. I can walk out this prison, go to my secret lab, do whatever the fuck I want to do, and come back to the prison and eat a steak dinner. That's Lex. Yeah, but the bar was set oh, low. I'm like, like, he was just let's like, not, he was like, <laughs> let's not act like this motherfucker was winning our NAACP award for his <laughs> oh, <laughs> <of> <laughs> Lex Luthor. <laughs> <laughs> But this, like, but he wasn't see, getting the image award. He wasn't getting a, a shefty or none of that shit. Like the bar was low. Superman returns set the bar so low. You just had to walk on that motherfucker and look good in the costume to be better than the motherfucker. But see, that's the thing. He's playing like if you've watched him, he's playing that role correctly because yeah, Lex is like he's he's buying off the guards. He's buying off the warden. He's like he was like, oh, I'll serve my time, but I'm still leaving whenever the fuck I want. Mm -hmm. That's Lex. That's like, yeah. That's Lex. Yeah, the Lex Luthor in Smallville was better than the Lex Luthor oh, in yeah. Superman Returns. Michael Bowman no, yeah. played the shit out of that. Yeah, so I'm like, it just says a lot to say that you know whatever they're doing with their their live or actions doing. or not doing their live actions are way better than their theatrical. Their animation are top fuck notch. Like I said it on I said it on a regular show. Like whatever, like I think Andrea Romano who does a lot of the voice casting. Yeah, Andrea probably, Romano. Yeah, yeah, she's probably sitting up there like, no, he's. She's probably like at the door, like, you can come in, you can come in. Nope, you stay back, stay back. Nope, nope. When if you see this person, don't let them in. <laughs> like, I don't want them over here fucking this up. Mm. <laughs> We're fine over here. We don't need. Well, the executive like tell him I call him back. You know how you get that phone call from the bill collector? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I call him back, or you don't answer the phone. Or it says right. scam likely, <laughs> something like that. Like, yeah, don't Buenos answer that. Yes, no, I don't know if any Mantella is here. You have right. the wrong number. So, <laughs> I think I think it's it's safe to say that Warner Brothers in the theatrical versions, that's they just don't know. They, they got to have different departments. I know they do. So, whoever's running that part of the department, part of the department, they don't mm -hmm. know what they're doing. They're just I mean, looking for a payday. Analogy that I know. And Montel might know, they might agree with me on this one. It's like Call of Duty. Activision makes it, and he have uh, I can't remember who makes the other one. <laughs> now, Activision make that motherfucker look great. The other company gives you advanced warfare and infinite warfare and bullshit like that. Like mm -hmm. some, you know what I'm saying? Or let's go with EA. You have okay. two divisions of EA. I got college football, uh, which is fucking amazing. Then I got mad, which is hot garbage. Like the shit just don't make no sense. How <laughs> uh, you be the same company but give me two different results? Like I don't understand that. Oh, like, like EA did Def Jam Five for New York. Oh, that's great, but you give us Icon. Like nigga, where'd you go wrong? Yeah. <laughs> what is this? Yeah, like where, where did you go Icon wrong, bro? Bro, Fight for New York was the shit. I don't care what was anybody the said. Greatest fight game ever. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, you can make your own right. or you can take Bro, your favorite hip hop artist and just go ham. And then Icons was like, oh, mm, here you go. We're going to capitalize on this bullshit we gave you first time. Here's Wonder Woman. Here's Wonder Woman 1984. Choke <laughs> on it. Choke <laughs> on it. <laughs> that was, I, oh, God. I was so upset. I was so upset. Choke on it. <laughs> I'm like, who wrote this As one? You shove it down your throat because she's in a motherfucking Godard suit fighting a cheetah. <laughs> Not the Godard suit, though. Tell me it wasn't. 
<laughs> it was Godard versus oh, the goddamn live feed. <laughs> the Godard shoot. I didn't man. even think about that until you said I it. I did. When I oh, first seen that, God. I was like, that's the, they brought that motherfucker from Godard. I don't give a fuck what nobody said. That nigga was sitting at home oh, chilling God. in this closet and took that bitch. Hey, you ain't using it, nigga. I'll be back. Yeah. <laughs> you want to oh, buy my God. suit? I'm that nigga was retired. Right I right had a week back, about a week back. Now I'm retired. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! I hated that line in that movie, man. No, that was the stupidest line in that whole fucking movie. Now you never look at the same way again. Back about now a week you won't back. look at it the same way ever again. You are broken from this day forth, yeah. my friend. You got oh, gold on in a DC this- movie. Now, the dog, it's the, the fucking same goddamn suit. They didn't even change a goddamn thing about it. Headpiece, everything looks the same. Same fucking wings and all that shit. Like, you got the same boots. And I was like, God oh, damn, she done robbed this nigga Godard's fucking rummage sale. He said rummage sale. <laughs> it's been in my, this suit's been in my family for years. Nah, motherfucker, that been in Godard shit for years. Y'all niggas stole that shit from me. Oh, oh, no. I got punched by the Power Rangers. I'll see it to you on a discount. It's a couple That's dents in the so back. You need to funny. pump out. Don't worry about it. That's all kind of bad. That is all <laughs> kind of bad. bad. <laughs> that is all types buff, of bad. They'll buff right out. <laughs> Wax on. <laughs> Wax off. The boots are a little big. Put some of Chad's socks that hang up in the corner in the bottom of it. They'll stand right up for you. Them boots. Oh, my God. Yeah, all right. I earned oh, them no. marks. <laughs> but that suit, like, that suit was horrible. Oh, man. That Wonder Woman 84 that. was a fucking disappointment. I'm oh, sorry. Jesus I don't know if they I don't know if they I'll do the type you mean of this? I'm saying. Oh, there God. was something about that movie I actually You mean, you mean this right here? There you go. Uh, that's it. That's it. The only thing she didn't use was the cod piece on the knee pads. She had her own knee pads from uh <laughs> back in the day that she broke out. As soon as I that's see that, I think of the music <laughs> with a trap sound. That, to that it. might be the same goddamn sword, too. <laughs> God damn. Oh my God. <laughs> only thing she did, okay, she took changed the knee pads, took out the cod piece, and put motherfucking metal wings instead of the uh Bird feathers on that bitch. That's the only Jesus. thing. She's like, I gotta make some alterations so it looked different. I, I can't unsee. <laughs> yeah, you're done. Yeah, yo, crazy. Yeah, you done. You're welcome. You're done. <laughs> yo, yo. You're I had done, to see it, but I first thing that school, I thought that's the first thing I thought. It burnt I went into to your cornea, sir. <laughs> I, 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 I was like, that's I the goddamn same suit. I don't care what nobody say. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Oh my god. I think Chris gonna ruin us again. He's gonna ruin us, aren't you? There, yes. boom! There it is. Same goddamn suit, but the equal head. Boom! Damn, the it helmet is. And the wings. I told you, man. Damn, oh, it oh is. Oh my gosh, yo. You're welcome. You're you know welcome. What? No. <laughs> you know what I'm going to do? You know do? I'm going to make a post. I'm going to make a post on IG. And said, does anybody see what I see? And put them right next to each other. Oh, my God. Same goddamn suit. She made a couple alterations so she wouldn't get sued by Bandai. Or save it. Or whoever the fuck make that shit. That's all. She's like, I'm, I can't. Okay. I'm going to borrow this from you, but I'm going to have to make some changes so I don't get sued. You know. Oh, no. We don't want Bandai you coming won't. after us, so make sure you take off the car piece. You know, and, Get I got my, own, got my own knee pads. Knee pads? Uh, knee my face hurts. Lose, <laughs> lose the knee pads. <laughs> oh, Put no. some tights under this bitch and some chain metal uh, leggings. And we call oh, them a day. Well, oh. you're, welcome. you're welcome. You guys are welcome. Because when I first seen that, that's the first thing I fucking thought. Damn. Swear to God. <laughs> and nobody listened to me. Nobody was like, no, <laughs> no, 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 no. You're wrong. You're wrong. Wrong, motherfuckers. You're wrong. You gotta know what I'm talking about. It's time, nigga. Surprise, motherfucker. She bought that bitch from Godard, nigga. You're wrong, motherfucker. Oh, your face, man. Nigga, it burns. It burns so bad in your soul. Now your eyes gotta see it. And every time you go to sleep and you think about Godard, you're gonna see Wonder Woman. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Wonder Brothers, what the hell are you doing? <laughs> oh, man. Oh, before we got off topic, man. Um, Wake oh, up in the cold worry. sweat. Cold on her. Cold on her. Wonder Woman. Ah, same suit. Ah, oh, fuck. Oh. 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 
I it's gonna to be a dude at a wedding in a gold suit, eyes. and you're gonna be like, God damn, <laughs> Godar <laughs> and Wonder Woman together in that gold goddamn suit. Turn on Con TV and watch some Super Sentai and then wash it out of your eyeballs. <laughs> you have to, you have to watch some strong ass right shit now. when you get off of here to get that out your brain. Um, yeah, oh my gosh. Gosh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, God. Oh, God. When you close your eyes and it's in the back of your head and you see Godar, ah, ha, 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 and it's really Wonder Woman. Mm. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. And, and you picture Wonder Woman and she was like, I had a week back, about a week back. <laughs> 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 hey, <what? laughs> oh no! It's the one. There is that. Look at that picture in your mind. Oh, Wonder Woman doing oh, all of no. Odar's lives. <laughs> I'm mad. Bro, I cannot. just like rebought the fucking DVD of that fucking Morty, Mighty Morphin Power Ranger movie the other day. <laughs> and I was just saying how much I hated that line. <laughs> like, I swear to God, man. I can oh, stand that line when it first came out. I stand that line. I cannot stand that line to this goddamn day. <laughs> This nigga was serious. Like, yeah, hey, I remember I had a week back. About a week back. Ah! I literally just started it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and oh, now every time you watch it, you're going to be seeing Wonder Woman delivering exactly. all good hours live. <laughs> all you hear is. Dun, 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 dun. No! <laughs> but it's going to be in Diana's voice. Music, I don't even know how to do that. About the music doesn't sound the same anymore. Oh Jesus! Uh, uh, you welcome. Before we, before we got off topic, man, uh, we got we got <laughs> we got like three episodes left of uh, Falcon and Winter Soldier. Oh yeah, that uh, show. I I don't know what to expect. I mean, obviously we're gonna get some more of uh, Captain L. You know, I hope because you just don't that's introduce that's the start out. You you don't introduce the Wakandans and not give them they shine. Now you got. Right, something, something going on. Like, she's probably going to join the battle, which is going to be fun. Um, thoughts <laughs> besides Goldar? <laughs> That's the only thing I'm thinking of right now. Thinking of like, it's it's burnt oh, into your cornea. Yeah, oh, it is. It's just, oh, thank God, I don't have anything Wonder Woman based around the office. <laughs> mm, I had a week back. About a week back. Ah! <laughs> I gotta, you know what? We're gonna do an episode. <laughs> we gotta do a Power Ranger centric episode, either on Blurred's Eye or Blurred's Eye After Dark. We gotta do what? We gotta do. And then uh, there was the pig. Who the fuck was that pig? Oh shit! He was just a random guy. Like, hey, like a he random was. ass motherfucker who just got a job. He was like first week on the job, and I mean, he had all the jokes. He had yeah. all the jokes. He had all the jokes. <laughs> The only one I'm gonna tell you the all out of all their villains, the only one I really liked was Lord Zed. Yeah, all, Zed, because Zed Lord Zed was, was about yeah, he was about his business, but then they started making him like deal with bullshit. <laughs> oh, I got a kid on the way, Rita. Yeah, he was yeah, like Rita. Get married. I'm like, I'm like, you had to marry Rita and deal with them badass stepkids, didn't you? That's what mm. happened. <laughs> what are the foot foot soldiers or putties or whatever? Yeah, I'm like, yeah, the putties. Yeah, putties. I was like, <laughs> I was like, you want me to marry? Who signed off on what the niggas sound like, man? Who signed off? Oh on? man. Oh, you know what it was? It was the WB executive. That's who it was. No, what it was. One of them executives came in sick and started throwing up, and someone said, "I think." Sounded like uh, Steve. Imagine he, he sounded like he sounded like no, he sounded like Steve Carell off of uh, what was it? Uh, the Jim Carrey movie. Uh, oh, uh, hey, uh, no, you talking about uh, Bruce Almighty? Yeah, Bruce, Bruce O'Malley. He, sound like, he was just like. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> I'm the type of person. Here's where my mind go. Like, what if the putties got off work after getting their ass beat by Power Rangers and go home to another putty and had to explain how their day was? Imagine that conversation. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> like that'd be a dumbass conversation, but that'd be a story I kind of want to see how the motherfuckers interact with each other when they're not getting in. <laughs> like you in the locker room, <laughs> or do the motherfuckers talk normal when they ain't getting their ass beat? Like, like you know, know what, Fred? You know what, Fred? This was a really <laughs> shitty day. Okay. Oh no! <laughs> you know, like, they like, they get their ass beat. <laughs> like that's a like, war cry. They sit up there, they're just like, a long oh, 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 oh. but then they get back. You said to get back to the locker room. I'm like, well, you know what, Fred? <sighs> uh, I, I had to play it dumb for these motherfuckers. I can't do this. I don't know if I got Come it in me Fred. anymore. Come here, Fred, so I can fuck you up real quick. I'm tired of little <laughs> shit. Okay, you're gonna bring that in my house. Okay, you're gonna speak like a nigga. Okay. <laughs> I'm so like, sick of coming home. Like if they touch oh, earth air, they got that weird ass noise. But when they in the locker room, it's like they regular air, so they can talk normal. Like, god damn, every time we go to Earth, I get <laughs> fucking high pitch blue little bullshit. We <laughs> <laughs> doing this shit, man. We- <laughs> they didn't say this shit was on the. They didn't say that. That shit, was- <laughs> that shit wasn't in the union package. I got Chuck. <laughs> <man. I'm laughs> <laughs> <laughs> I'm just to 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 get our ass all like, what the hell in. is this? 15 minute breaks and a, what is this all about? Every, I, I got a blue 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 every five minutes for these motherfuckers. No, I'm here. God, God damn, take roll call before I leave. Motherfucker. All they said, is, all they said is, I had to watch the desk and play security. They didn't say anything else. Yeah, nigga told me, I don't know what it is. I was to be working in the warehouse. I was supposed to be working in the warehouse. I get my ass kicked by teenagers on site and shit for no reason. God damn. Let's talk about the teenagers for a second. Or, or what? If, or what? Nobody if, noticed their ass was always missing, and then all. Before these... we get to the teenagers, I got one more no. weird thing. What if the motherfuckers really was just like foreigners asking for directions, and these niggas was always getting their ass? <laughs> <laughs> was like really just lost as fuck. Like, That's like how they always ended up in the park. <laughs> it was like always Spanish. <laughs> <laughs> like, like they were speaking a foreign language, and these niggas didn't know English, so they were trying to go up to people. Ask questions. Oh my god! Because he did blah, 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 to me. <laughs> like, why would it is like? Look, at some point, you just gotta not come to Angel Grove no more. Like, yeah, just, like, stop. like it looked nice as hell and everything else, but then it's like out there visiting, <laughs> trying to see they take their little kid to a park and like, like how is y'all out? Y'all oh my god! Oh my god! He did blah, 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 the noises to me. Man, now you gotta. Love them. They always end up in somebody's quarry fighting. Would, how many times would giant kaijus come stomp on your city, man? <laughs> like, and then nobody ever move and shit. Ain't nobody it's move. Gotham, it's, Gotham, it's Gotham on the West Coast. That's what it was. <laughs> it's Gotham on the West Coast. Angel That's Grove cool. is Gotham on the West Coast. That's what that is. Or it's, but, or, or it's West Coast Hong Kong, man. Is that? Yeah. West Coast Hong Kong. Hong Kong East. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> it Can you imagine the construction and development companies like no, oh, them they motherfuckers you. kill it? They, 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 they got they got all money. The construction <laughs> people at Angel Grove got Dog, all the them money. niggas was like they got oh, deep government contracts. The Bar Rangers had another <laughs> fight where they destroyed how many buildings? Oh, now they in the basement, like honey. Oh god. Oh, the power just destroyed another building. Oh god, I need more socks. I got it. I thought I was going to bring it back. Ah, This is how you recycle a joke, baby. Oh man, <laughs> hey, look, when I do a promo, we gotta use that shit. <laughs> Yo, man. <laughs> that's, that's how you bring a joke back. That's how you recycle a good Yo. joke. And, nah, shake it up and bring it back, oh, man. man. I'm so <laughs> weak right now, bro. I am oh, so yo. yo, this is probably one of our best advertisements. Oh, <laughs> uh, but no, the moment was breaking in because them niggas destroyed a building every goddamn day. Yeah. <laughs> like, what makes your show so great? Socks and Goldar. That's what Socks, makes and Goldar. <laughs> Socks and Goldar. <laughs> and weak backs. Weak backs. <laughs> <laughs> Weak backs. <laughs> hey, that's Chris. That should be the name of the show. Weak backs, socks, and Godar. Weak backs, socks, and Godar. 
<laughs> I'm calling that shit. They gonna be like, wait, that toxic gold arm. What the fuck? Oh, I'm weak. I am so weak. Oh, shit, I'm crying real tears. Oh, oh my gosh. Yo, I'm done. I had already started, man. I can't take oh, it. No, I'm done, man. <laughs> oh my god. Yo. We gotta we gotta close out anyway. But uh if you wait yourself be here all week. <laughs> <laughs> Not a week back though. Uh <laughs> Not a week back. <laughs> <laughs> be back in a week. Queen of the Amazon. Yeah, it'll be back about a week, nigga. <laughs> Shoot, uh, yo, before we get out of here, man, uh, we got we got our we got special guests, Crazy Eight the Great and Eight Navy at Navy Montel for Blur the Course Peak. Yo, Crazy Eight the Great, tell everybody where they can find you, man. You can find me anywhere there's a gold door. <laughs> <laughs> hey, a week back, that gold door working at a chiropractor. <laughs> no, I see you got a week back. No, I just leaned on the table and I'll get oh you taken care of. Oh my god! And Wonder Woman, the receptionist. <laughs> and they both got on them gold ass suits. <laughs> oh, oh, our new oh, is kind of magic. Oh, she, doesn't, she doesn't like oh, people. You can find me on all social media at Crazy Eight Great. That's crazy. The number eight T H E Great. It's only one of me. You can't get another. Same for all digital streaming platforms. Animated. The album is out now. Yeah. All right. Eight Navy. Eight Navy Montel. Tell everybody where they can find you. Oh my gosh, I can't even top any of that. My gosh, yo. <laughs> my back right now, my back, yo. For real. Back. <laughs> Come on down to the Arts Oh man, you oh, find us where the gold suits are. <laughs> gold arms and weak backs. That's oh my god, dark. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yo, you can find me on Instagram under and Twitter under Navy Montel. Or if you are adventurous, you can go on YouTube, Rogue Catnip, as well as Twitch. I am Rogue Catnip there as well. And I have a merch store open finally. So I'm on the same right. level as Crazy Eight over here, my little brother. So, you know, I'm trying to be like him when I grow up, you know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Good shout out, man. Uh, DC. You can find me at Costco buying nothing but tube subs, baby. <laughs> <laughs> By the bitches in bulk, son. <laughs> Yo, Brandy gonna be so bad. She was like, oh, dear, what? Oh, you have no idea. I ain't played sports in two years, but I got a lot of tube socks in my crib. Brandy, Don't worry girl, about it. You missed it. You should have oh, been here. Oh, no, you but you can find me here. What the shit? I was doing a lot of crazy <laughs> shit like this. Because I'm like, oh, this is fun. Um, <laughs> Mm, mm, Coming mm. back with season three in about two weeks. We'll be back. (laughs) (laughs) I cannot stand you, man. I cannot stand you, bro. Put all the go toots on the (laughs) socks. Oh, my God. oh, I'm not streaming tonight. Kiss my ass. I can't even breathe right now. I can't. <laughs> oh man. Oh, shit. oh, oh gosh. Oh uh, uh, man. I'm I'm Chris Fury. You can be sure to follow us on our Facebook page, Blurs I View, and YouTube page. <laughs> for nah, stuff like it. this. <laughs> we'll be back next week. <laughs> <laughs> oh, for the updates of the Blur World, check us out also on Instagram, Blurs I Blurs underscore I View on Instagram. All lowercase. Tune in next Saturday. Notice I didn't say next week because next week we'll be back. (laughs) Talk to Godar as we continue to showcase other POC creators. Talk more crazy stuff on Blurs Eye View After Dark and much, much more. And until then, I'm General Chris Fury, along with DC and our crazy guests. Hey, 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 Godar the Great. (laughs) Crazy, (laughs) crazy, ain't the Great. Remember to educate yourself. And others entertain yourself and others, and most of all, empower yourself and others. And until then, we're and out also of here. hydrate and wash your goddamn socks. The motherfucker shouldn't stand up on the <laughs> no. Oh, and oh, wait, in all seriousness, in all seriousness, 
Uh, shout out to DMX and his family, man. We hope he gets better, yeah. man. He just yeah. got off the, the ventilator. He had a, a heart attack from uh, apparently a drug overdose. So we hope he gets better, man. He's breathing on his own. So you know, shout out to DMX. Hope you get well, brother, man. We can't we can't wait to hear anything you got to say. Until then, absolutely, we out.